Hi, my name is Mike Celestino. I'm with laughingplace.com. Uh, so good to meet you guys. How's it going? Good, Mike. Thanks for doing this, right? As the as the lawnmower is going by outside. Of course, always, always, always. <laughs> All yeah. right. If we could start by just telling me about how this project came about for you. Was this your pitch or were you approached by Lucasfilm and Lego to do this? So, you know, we we've had a long relationship with with Lucasfilm and, and Lego now. Like we we've come in and we first started working with them on that first holiday special that they did. We we came in for a day, did some punch up jokes and, and things like that. And, and they saw how much we loved not just Star Wars, but Lego. I'm like a massive Lego nerd insane lego collection like the lego and star wars are like my two great loves and i think they saw that and so then uh when they started talking about wanting to do something big for the 25th anniversary of lego star wars uh they came to us and we just started talking of like of how what can we do that felt bigger uh and like a a real celebration of lego star wars and yeah, so we started going down this path of, well, what if we really shake up the entire galaxy? What if we, we what, we've sort of viewed it as recreating the way kids and adults play with their Lego, you know, with their Star Wars Lego, yeah. which is, you don't just, you know, uh, take your take the pieces and, and act out the movies exactly as they happen. No, you you take your bin of Lego, you dump it on the floor and you just start having fun, mixing and matching and, and you know, timelines that become irrelevant. Good guys are bad guys, bad guys are good guys, ships are different, wh whatever you wanna do. And so we wanted to to recreate that experience and, and celebrate that. Uh, and everyone was on board with with that. and uh, And we were off to the races from there. I wonder if uh, you guys can talk about the lessons you learned coming out of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem and working with a big uh, existing franchise like that, bringing that experience into Star Wars, Re Lego Star Wars Rebuild the Galaxy. Yeah, I mean, we are so proud of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. It's, it's, I think, just a fantastic movie. Sometimes things turn out better than you could even hope once you see the finished product. And that was definitely an example of that. But I think one of the things that we learned that was applicable to this project was not everything that we did in Mutant Mayhem was the same as what had come before, that there were some deviations in the origin of certain characters, the way that certain pieces of historical fact were presented in Mutant Mayhem are a little bit different than in the comics or in the show. But what we discovered, and there were definitely conversations about, is this too much? Are we going too far? Are people going to not like this because it, it, it feels different than what they're familiar with? And what we ultimately learned and decided was that if it felt spiritually like the thing, like that people would kind of come along for the ride. And I think that we really applied that lesson very specifically to this special because we weren't doing the things that were the same. In fact, in many cases, we very purposefully deviated from what a, a, you know someone that had been steeped in Star Wars lore for many years would understand or, or recognize. But at the end of the process, we said, you know, as long as it feels like Lego, as long as it feels like Star Wars, as long as it feels like Lego Star Wars, I think people are going to go along for this ride and actually be excited to see something that's a little bit different than what they expected. Great. Uh, I was looking into the history of Jedi Bob and where the origins of that character came from, which is something that surprisingly I had no idea about. But can you talk about how you guys discovered that? Is that something that you came in with pre-existing knowledge or did this come from research? And what other little Easter eggs are you proud of for Lego and Star Wars combined? putting into yeah, this project. This definitely came from my deep love of Lego and Lego Star Wars and, you know, being a longtime collector and, and fan of it. You know, I've been, I've been playing Lego Star Wars since before there was even official licensed Star Wars Lego sets. I was, I was making Star Wars out of just generic Lego. Uh, but yeah, so I've been well aware of Jedi Bob as just a, a member of that 
adult fan of Lego, a fall community uh, for years. And so when we started talking about this show, the immediately I was like, well, obviously the Jedi master in this should be Jedi Bob. And there was definitely a lot of, wait, who? From from certain people involved in this because it is it is a deep cut a, a very deep cut uh, and once I explain the history and how much fans would flip out if we were to do this uh, people got excited and on board and uh, yeah you know and so beyond that I mean we put all sorts of uh, Lego references in throughout Sig's last name Griebling is 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 a term that that people use it's actually a george lucas term from building the models of the ships but it's now been adopted in the lego community of like all the details on ships uh yes he's scala scala is an old uh lego line for girls from way back in the day lug. a lug uh it, sig fig. It is, yeah sig fig we, we there's there's a ton of of deep lego cuts that that i put in just for fun uh, and it's been it's been exciting to see the 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 Lego geeks out there pick up on them uh, and 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 notice these little things. And at the same time, I would say there's an equal amount of Star Wars Easter eggs and sort of if you're looking at any given scene in the show, there's something surprising that's going on somewhere that was given a lot of thought and consideration by us, by everyone at Lucasfilm and Lego, and also our our amazing director, Chris Buckley, and, and the team at Atomic Cartoons who crushed it uh, because we really wanted to go all out. We really wanted to do things for everyone, the deepest, most serious, versed Star Wars fan to people like my kids who have never watched any Star Wars whatsoever. And it had to work equally for everyone. And so I think that everybody really pulled together to, to put some pretty pretty unexpected and fun stuff that I hope people will 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 catch uh, on on you know hopefully multiple viewings. Awesome. Well that's my time. Thank you so much guys. I really appreciate you doing this and I really enjoyed the miniseries. Thanks Thank so much. much.